Hello everybody, I am Adog Supreme, and we're playing a really cool game called, um, uh, what was this game called again? Diesel Rail Car Simulator. That's it. It's, you know, a fun little train simulator. And we're gonna, I, I'm not very familiar with the game yet, and I'm not too good at it yet. I'm still learning. So we're gonna take an empty train from a depot to a station. Nice and simple mission. Let's load this thing up. This game is currently in early access. I'll have a link down below if you want to support the developers. It's on itch.io. Uh, because I'm loving the game so far. And I'm really looking forward to all the stuff the developer has planned for this game. And, well, it's just awesome. I've loved every bit of it so far. Okay, here we are in the game. This is my nice little train. And time to switch it on. Let's see, set our reverser forward and open the throttle. And now we turn on engine, the left engine. And the right engine. Release the brake. Or apply the brake. Close the throttle. Now I release the brake. Still learning. The lap brake. And now I believe I open the throttle. Take it into first gear. And the train's starting to move a little bit. Yeah, trains apparently take a very long time to get started. And I'm still learning the whole process and procedure of doing this. And I hope the game, my audio is fine, because I've always had tons of audio problems. Whoops. Gotta slow it down a bit. I'm speeding. And now I can speed it back up again. Nope. No, I can't. It's still 10 miles an hour. I'm going way over. Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna tone down the throttle a little bit. And I'll tone it down a bit more. Okay. Now we're going to pretty decent speed. And now we can look at some of the other views. This is my train that I'm to- Whoa, this is a long train. This is the longest train I've ever taken. That's pretty cool. We have a passenger view. Have this view right here. But I'm gonna stick it in the cab for now. And open the throttle again. We need to pick up speed. We do not want to be late. We have to be at St. Paddington's Crossing at 7.42. It's currently 7.30. And as soon as we get past this um, uh, little, like, swervy part here, this crossing section, I, I believe the speed limit goes up to 40. Oh, and look, we're about to pass another train. So there are AI trains running around the game, which are cool. Now, at the moment, there are only these passenger trains. But the developer said he's planning on adding freight trains, diesel trains, steam trains, tons of other stuff. So there's going to be a lot more than this. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna take the throttle down to one because I don't want to go over the speed limit. Because we do get a deduction for that. I'll just keep the train going at this nice steady speed. Start applying the brake because the speed limit's about to change. Yeah, and, and I have a little helper icon helping me out, telling me when to brake and stuff. Looks like our signal is clear and we can go right on through. And I believe that's the station just ahead of us. Now, there are a lot more complicated routes than this. This is one of the shorter ones. There are routes that take an entire hour to do and go through like five or seven stations. This is just from the depot to one station, so it's a short route. But I decided to do a short one since I'm still practicing. Definitely close time to break. I'm going a bit too fast. Oh boy, I hope I don't crash. Oh, whoops. Looks like I'm not in the station enough. So I'm gonna need to pull up a bit. But I gotta be careful, if I, cause I can crash at the end and lose the entire mission. I have done that a few times. So I'm actually, I'm really enjoying this game so far and I'm looking forward to what it turns into. break because if I hit that it, I'm more than sure that it's like I lose the game and we have successfully completed that mission and got 2,992 points now on this list here it says all the helpers I had it, you can disable them which makes it harder and then you'll get more score and I exceeded the speed limit 28 times and had 10 counts of reckless driving, so not the best. But I did pretty good for someone who's never driven a train before until yesterday. Now, I'm going to show you a bit more of it. Here are all the routes that are currently in the game. I'm scrolling down right now. There are tons of them. There are ones that are 14 minutes long, half an hour long, 45 minutes long. Th there's just everything. It's really cool. Like, I'm going to just show you this one. You can see how many stops there are. Well, these this one actually oddly doesn't have any stops. So that was a bad example. Maybe this is... Yep. No. Yeah, Here. here's one. Most of these pass, but you do have to stop at some stations. 
Hmm. Where, where's a good example? That's not... I'm trying to look for a good example to show you this, but... Um... I'm not really finding it. Hmm. Short stop. Ah, uh, here, here's a good example of one of the more normal missions, I should say. You have several stations to stop at. You have to get to them on time or you're going to get penalized. It's just a ton of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you'd like to see me play some more of this more difficult mission, then just let me know and I'll post it soon. And I'll have a link in the description for the game if you want to buy it. Have a good day, everybody.